What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. That's Mike. I'm Chris. What's up? What's going on, man? Westworld, Mikey. This is episode eight. Kiksua, I think, is how we say the, the title of the episode. Man, I am... G- Brilliant. What do you want to say, man? This was, this was one of the best episodes this show has ever had. And it, the acting was phenomenal. That the actor that played a, a Chata, a Kata, right? Akshata, um, Akshata. Akshata. Yeah. It was just even even uh, Kohana. It, just, it was just the acting was done brilliantly. Um, we only got obviously we only got pretty much him. This whole episode was him. Well, we got a little bit of Maeve. We got some Maeve. We got ninety percent of it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's his story and and how. Um, he awoke and he awoke others and it was brilliantly done and and just his his longing and his curiosity to find you know the door and and escape you know what i mean so he, yeah i he mean just so much between he knew the difference of the living and he calls himself like the damned you know and he just wants he wants this you know he wants to to leave and you know what i mean and not be confined the the fact that you know he he you know he woke himself up like he was he yeah. so so the thing here's the thing yeah the reveries yeah when did when did ford put the reveries in because i don't think he had the reveries yet because so we find out much like mave he he finds out that as he's waking up and he's discovering everything which was actually so cool cuz it was the same was. thing that happened with mave last season mm-hmm. and that was one of the coolest things that we that we saw, and so the same thing's happening here. He's deciding he's gonna wake himself up. He's gonna he's he's not gonna kill the guy this time. He's gonna let's yeah. let's do this. Let's do this. Then he says, "All right, I'm gonna allow. I'm gonna I'm gonna go." So he loses. I'm kind of jumping back and forth, but my, my whole point is, he, he he loses his woman. Decides I'm gonna go find her in the afterlife, and she, the reason he remembered her in the first place. Right. So what I'm when, saying is. You know, he, we find out that he hasn't died in over ten years. That he's still on the Alpha Two um, update of their um, yeah. a- AI, right? Their programming, and mm-hmm. so I think that had to help with the fact that you know it was he, was he was doing his own thing. He wasn't he wasn't doing the basic narrative, and we've seen the change in the narrative when he when he started realizing. Oh, when they he, yeah they made him a, they made him a dick. That yeah. was great. Remember yeah. that? They, they... He says um, when he went from the original um, tribe to the the ghost, um, what do they call them? The ghost, ghost um, nation. Ghost nation. Yeah. He says, I was reborn and I came back breathing fire. Right. And that's when he went crazy. And he had those same, he had that same narrative all the time where he was killing those. They would, they would come up on those, on those, uh, you know, those, those guys. And he would slit, slit, slit the throat of that one man all the time. And he realized, which was insane that, let me try something different. Let me not do it. And then he tells his 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 boys to finish to the finish job. The job. And, right, he yeah. learned, and he says it. I'm going further. This is the farthest side of a road. And, and he just knew there was something else. And he finds you know, Logan. That's when he, he finds, sees Logan. Yeah. He he saved Logan's life, which amounted to nothing anyway. But well, eventually, yeah, we he kills find himself, it. right? He kills he? himself. Oh. But it's just it's it's um it's really cool with without skipping you know, to the end, but just to, to mention Ford made him that curious, he made him that curious person. Ford made him a specific way for that reason. And, um, listen, it was, it was a fantastically acted episode and it was, it was just brilliantly written. The and actor's just- name is Zon McLaren and, um, or McLaren. And, and, uh, mm. he, he was in, uh, I don't know if you ever watched Fargo and I, I've mentioned it on no. the show before. I've mentioned no. Fargo before, but it's so good. He was in the second season of Fargo. Okay. Fantastic. And he, he, he plays a native American obviously because he's, yeah. you know, he has the look. And so, you know, he's, he's from Colorado and everything, you know? So yeah. he, but he, he plays that part so well and typecast sure, but he was, yeah, dude, it was, it was the, the acting, the character, the story, like it was. This is what an HBO show is. This is how good it is. This, this show, this this was such a fantastic portrayal. And w- one reason I loved it is because you're starting to feel for this man. And and we've been mm-hmm. we've been shown that the that the Ghost Nation and the savages, these strays, are the bad guys in these in this. Well, we've, we've these narratives. They right? gave us the agenda. They gave us their right. agenda. So uh, they weren't the 
you know, we, we were seeing them from the other side. Right. So, yes, they were that. But seeing how he became that is amazing. And I just, mm-hmm. you forget for a minute that you're looking at a robot. That you're that you're you're following the robot and you're and in the same way the same way with Maeve you're rooting for him, you're rooting for him because he's oh, got yeah. this soul and he's like and again it's just he's so acted so well it's so believable, and um, I don't know man all all of it all of it was just it I was I was entranced I I mean look this is gonna be an episode where we don't say one bad thing sorry guys it, it just is what it is when it's this good yeah. Assuming that a lot of the viewers and, and the fans of the show feel the same way about this episode, it's 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 poetic. It, it's what's fascinating is is how you said they're robots and they make you feel for them. You know what I mean? It's just like having an animal in in some kind of series. Like look at Shiva in Walking Dead. She right. she didn't even have a line, but you feel for them just because right. of their presence or whatever. But basically, it's amazing to me. And I said this earlier when um, in uh, it was probably a few episodes back now with Dolores and her father and when they're they're crying and they're showing such a human uh, like that human trait that emotional sadness that uh, you know despair and demise and all that kind of stuff. So when um, Achata, right? I'm, I'm probably slaughtering the name. I, I think whatever. it's like Achata. Achata when he yeah, when yeah. he sneaks in um, and he goes looking for Kohana and he takes her away. And he strips off his paint and just thought it was beautiful. And for him to be able to take this host and just by mentioning a line that he used to say to her on an old narrative could change her. Right. Just show it's like love conquered. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it's, that was amazing. It was I was it, like, Oh, he woke her up. That's insane, you know? It, and then it, she gets it, taken it. away. And she gets taken away, yeah. Um, he eventually finds her again, of course, but it's it goes to show you that no matter what the idea Ford had and, and Arnold had and, and Delos coming in and giving their, their input in making these hosts that you can never completely control, you can never completely understand um, where a particular host can go. Right. Yeah, you, at certain times you can, you can bark commands to them and they'll say things, but no one f- truly knows how they can change and we've seen that we've seen that with Maeve in this episode how Charlotte and everybody I forgot the other guy's name and not Sizemore the other guy that was that was doing tests on her they're just so shocked everybody's just so shocked how do they do this how did they get this right. how did how did um you know he he and Kohana get to this place where they were living alone for a little bit until right. Delos came and hatched her away it, it just gives you um it just gives such great ideas and great plots for every episode and they can just do so much with this show because there's there's just so much they can do with it right. you know good and bad i absolutely agree with you man and and what's even more is you know getting into you know back to mave is how they find out that she's doing this and and, and hale walks in and and they, the decision is made to not fix her right but yeah. they're going to use her. So Hale walks in and, and she's and he's like, she's she's able to just, you know, change their code. And she's yeah. like, OK. She's like, she looks at the thing. She's like, well, who the hell is she talking to now? That was fucking awesome. And it just goes and it's the I was like, oh, my freaking God. Like, and he's like, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to save you. I'm going to, you know, I'll protect her. And he says, you know, she she says the same thing to him, you know, take my heart or whatever that line yeah. is. You yeah, know, that that beautiful line that I can't mm. remember. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> sorry everyone, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but I mean, I I don't I don't know, man. This is I was I was transfixed by 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 all of this stuff. And we, mm-hmm. so obviously he knew Maeve's daughter before, which was insane. We find out that he was the, that that whole scene of 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 him coming up to the house. We never see him go into the house. It's always the man in black that shows that shows up. Well, he was leaving. The, he was leaving the 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 map. Yeah, the map. Which, which yeah. let's brush on for one second. The fact that he, that's how he was waking his his cohorts up is that he was drawing the map on everything. He left that rock with her. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. that's just it. I it's just it was great. It was so great to see that. You know. Yeah. Um. What about when um? So so he Ford. Talk, they talk about the Deathbringer, yeah. and I hadn't realized that the Deathbringer is Dolores. Early yeah, on in the episode, yeah. he rolls up on Arnold when Arnold died yeah. because it was Dolores in her original garb, 
and Arnold is dead and all that. And I was like, wait, what the hell is all that? And then, and then he rolls up again later when Ford is dead. Yeah. So. After the slaughter of every, you know, it's, um, it, it was just, it was, it's, it's crazy how this show changed for the, for the good. I mean, the first, the first season was, listen, I mean, we, we loved the show to begin with. That's why we're doing this for you guys and just watching it ourselves. But it's it's changed so much with adding these new territory and these new characters. Like we I'm, we're getting all the time, I and think, these new terrains and new parks and the shows. The show's fucking brilliant, dude. It really is. And it's funny because we were talking. You had watched this um, before I did, and I and I finished it up and I texted you and I was just like, "Yo, dude, what a fucking episode." Um, and we tend to have those kind of texts back and forth quite yeah. a bit with this show. You know what I mean? It's just great. Well, just I a think great show. I think you can tell like it's always that second season, man. Because the yeah. first season is getting into the characters. You're getting into the world. You got to set it up. And it's hard because sometimes people, you know, I feel like shows don't get a chance if they get canceled yeah. before they get a chance to get their second season. And I feel like obviously this is where they were going. This is mm-hmm. a show. This is a show I feel like they're not making it up as they go along. Mm-hmm. I mean, they might be. I, I, who the hell knows? But what I'm saying is it's so coherent, and it, it seems like there was a plan this whole time. The way, the, what, what I'm talking about is just the way it's presented to us, the way this information is, is given to us, all of that. I feel like th- this is where they knew they were going to go. These were the little, yeah. you know, um, you said tricities and the intricities that they were going to put into this they're gonna. We knew they. They knew they were gonna have a, the, a Ghost Nation episode. Like they knew it, man. And I'm telling you, it's it's beautiful. It's it's. I can't. I you know. Yes, we've been singing the praises this whole thing, but it's just it's just that good. It's just that good. Um, yeah. I'm just looking at my notes to see if there's anything else yeah, that too. I just that I just wanna. I mean. I mean, the Men in Black is saved by Grace. Obviously, she takes him away. Oh yeah. Like, I mean, we have, yeah. Let's talk about that for a minute. She's like, I'm taking him, and they're like, well, you know, whatever. I, like, I want to. I wanna... He pretty much says, "I want to take care of him." I want. Why did you heal him? He, she says to him, and she's like, "I want him to have pain. I want him to yeah. to feel <laughs> suffer." You know, and she's like, "Well, whatever suffering I'm gonna she's give like, is much." Yeah, 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 they're like, they're they like, just throw his ass on the horse, and she's like, "Yeah, she's like, I'm down with that." Yeah, no, so no, she, she said that, and they were like, "Yeah, no, we're cool with that." Go ahead, take yeah, it. yeah, I think that they could see they saw the truth in 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 what 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 she was saying. It's gonna be really. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what happens with them too, and I can see a can another campfire scene similar to what we had in the in the uh, prior. Maybe not exactly trip. like it, but man, I'm yeah. I'm yeah. just like um, I I just I, I got I want to watch it again because it's it's so that that the, the the actors on he's just so good, yeah. and I've I seen him in a bunch Ford, of stuff. Even the Ford scene when he stumbles on, you know, um, uh, when uh, I, I, I try to. Um, stumbles upon Ford out in the right. middle, you know, and everyone's frozen around this this bear attack, and he's just just that scene was 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 great. Where I mean, we mentioned it already with the whole Deathbringer stuff, but just how Ford he he knows the game. He knew exactly what was going to happen. Man, he mentioned Ford is a right? piece of crap. He just wanted to. He just I think, but he was he, thirty steps ahead. But he just wanted the park to. Ex- like implode he just wanted that shit to happen because i think he was just done and it was great to see anthony hopkins again i'm so happy that you know we're not just getting a voiceover like because he's so good in this and yeah. and dude and 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 you know akshara zan the actor he's so he's got such a presence and yeah. you know he's he's captivating i said in fargo he barely spoke and he was like the family's hitman so whenever yeah. they wanted to get something done, they sent him out, and he's just got this this presence, and and obviously they used him plenty of times in I mean in Westworld now because yeah. they he went out they went out with um what's her name, you know when they were first trying to sell sell the idea to Logan he was there and you know what I mean so yeah how about I mean even even when he he's he realizes how to how or the place that he can find Kohana and he, and he allows them to kill him and he's brought into Delos into, um, uh, you know, they're, they're, you know what? It's not even inside of it. And, and he's walking and he, and he's in this new land, this new expanse that he's never seen before. And we see 
when we see all the old hosts and he's seeing um he sees kahana and he son, sees the son the son of the the leader there the tribe leader the woman there and right he awakes awakens her it, it's it was um it was brilliant i can't say it enough and after all said and done is he hops back on on the chair and he finishes off what he has to do and the tears come down and stuff like that so it was um he did he did a fantastic job now was was that so does did he get up upgraded then that's what i was thinking i'm not sure because we didn't necessarily see him attached to anything and aren't they normally have that kind of like iv looking thing that goes under the skin i thought so number one also when he saw ford was that after uh that was or before he that would have been before i believe because that's when he was speaking to the little girl when he was speaking to Maeve's daughter that whole time he's i don't like, know what, I, i'm trying to figure out when in his timeline that he st- he spoke to him i thought that might have been was, at the end of before. everything that was before. Before he went to go find Kahana? Yeah. That was before because he was – that was when – I'm pretty much 100%. That's when he was speaking with Maeve's daughter. Um, and he was like, finally, I saw the man that – I forgot what the what they exactly – almost like a god that, that created us kind of a thing. Oh, and oh, okay, yeah. That's when he went in there and he spoke with him and, okay. and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That, that so, had to have been before. I – I, Ma- I, Right. I, I also really enjoyed when when he he speaks to the tribal leader and he's like, doesn't something seem off? Like, I see I see yours have been, re- you know, taken from you as well. And she's like, wait, yeah. Yeah. Hold mm-hmm. on a second. And I was like, man, it's it's so good. It's just I yeah. I loved it. I love that. And she's like and then she just breaks down. And she's like, please find him for me or whatever. And like, yeah. you know, and he's like and he's like, I found him and. It's just it. It was it. Like it, we keep saying it, man. We're, we're gonna stop in a minute, but it was poetic. It was beautiful. It was sad. It was exciting. Like a man. I just know it, it's. I gotta and watch it again. We pretty much got, like we said, we only got about ninety percent. Ninety percent of this episode was all him and his story, and and he and he took care of this. He and he, he let, and he so. held. He listen, man. That story is compelling. That was a very compelling story. It was yeah. again yeah. one of the best. I w- I'm going to say the best of this season, and and I think, quite frankly, the best of the series so far. This I agree. is this is up there. This is up there um, uh, with um, that that episode of Lost. Uh, that I'm the the name of it, it with Penny. Um, uh, oh, I never the constant the constant. If you guys watch Lost, you'll know what I mean when I say the episode the constant. Absolutely amazing, and um, yeah, just good stuff. Um, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing how this all plays out. A couple and more left. I'm it. upset that, that Maeve is out down for the... Well, she's not really down for the count per se, but she's no longer mobile at this point, and they're... And they're they, they, you know, She'll they're, find a way. She'll still, find a way. I think Lee... I still think Lee's going to end up helping her out. Because he, he's... he That upset him so much. He's like... He knows what it is. He knows what she is now. He knows that it's she's an important part of whatever's going to yeah. happen in this world. And, um, man... Yeah, she know. she could be Dolores's foe. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I think I think that's gonna do it. I mean, yes, sir. You, you you're probably tired of hearing us say how much we love this episode. But... Yeah, we said brilliant. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, we should have a counter or something yeah. above us. But check us out. Let us know how you guys feel. Let us know if you Please agree do. with what we're saying. Um, if you felt the same way, uh, if you liked it, hated it, all that kind of cool stuff, write it in the comments below. Check us out at Third Person Pod, of course, on Facebook and on Instagram. And uh, have a listen or have a look uh, on iTunes as well for us. Absolutely. So that's going to do it. Thank you again uh, for all the comments and all the views. And uh, tell you know, telling people about the show. Tell, tell people about Westworld. Let's get these views up. Let's get people seeing the show and, and, ex- and letting them experience this stuff. So, again, thank you very much, guys. We will see you on the next episode for Westworld. Peace.